All right, we're going to do one, another application problem, all right, in which we are going to be looking for some different distances. And we here have some um, compass surveying methodology that we're going to be using um, with our angles. So we're going to go through this um, if you're not really familiar with how to apply this. So without further ado, let's look at the problem. Um, a surveyor, a surveyor wishes to find a distance across a swamp, okay? So we're really looking for the distance across the swamp. All right, um, the bearings, the bearing from A to B is north, okay? Um, so from A to B, so if we have this, this is what we have to kind of do. Whenever you're doing surveying, um, you want to make sure that you're creating, all right, a north, south, east, and west quadrant at the point. And now what's going to happen is you're going northwest, all right, northwest at 32 degrees. So this means that this right here, Okay, it's going northwest at 32 degrees. So right here, this angle coming out this way, all right, is going to be at 32 degrees. So north, west, all right, at 32 degrees, all right, 32 degrees. All right, um, from here, the surveyor walks, all right, 50 meters from A, 50 meters from A. And at point C, the bearing to B, so we're gonna do the same thing. All right, same thing. All right, the survey walks right here, and the bearings this way, all right, um, is gonna be northwest, okay, so north and west at 68 degrees, 68 degrees. So we're gonna go right here, and this is gonna go 68 degrees that way, all right, 68 degrees that way. All right, cool beans. So, um, what we want to do here is we want to find A, the bearing from A to C, all right, A to C. So, we want to figure out what this bearing is, okay, um, from A to C. And, um, yes, and the distance from A to B, all right. So, this distance, we want to just, I call this uh, distance D, and we want to figure out really what we're looking for, all right, is this distance, this bearing from here to here. Okay, from here to here. Okay. All right, so we're looking for that angle. Now, um, in order to do part A, uh, knowing that we have this, this is going to be good stuff right here. And so what we know is that um, in going through all this stuff is that, yes, this is a 90 degree angle. And since this is 32, all right, uh, this angle from here to here is 90. So if this is 32, this angle is going to be 90 minus 32, all right? And that is gonna be um, 90 minus 32 is gonna equal 58 degrees. Now, how are we gonna write this? Well, this is 58 degrees, and we have to write it in this way. So north, all right, 58 degrees. Now we're going this way east, because we're going to the right east. So north, 58 degrees east, okay? And that's one way we could write this. There's other ways of writing this out, but we're just going to go this way, okay? All right, so we found that, that angle, all right? North, 58 degrees east. The second part we're going to do is now we're going to look for B, what is that distance from A to B? Now, to figure out this distance from A to B, all right, we know this length here, and we have a right triangle, and we have a right angle there. But what we really want to know is we have to figure out another angle right here. Now, how can we figure out this other angle? Well, since we know this is 58 degrees, okay, this is 58 degrees. Ugh, that's a horrible 58. That's 58 degrees. And we also know that these bearings are both, all right, parallel to each other, okay? They're parallel to each other, all right, just at different points. So that means that this angle and this angle are going to be equal. Now that's going to be really important because we have to figure out an angle of this triangle. We have to figure out an angle of this triangle. And so this is a very involved problem. We have to use some geometry um, to help us figure this out. Okay. So if you want to try this out, all right, right now and figure it out, you may pause this video before we continue and then you can see if you get it right. Okay. All right. Well, since we have this right here and knowing that these are 90 degrees, okay. Um, we're going to find out this because these are alternate interior angles. If you remember from geometry, alternate interior angles, 
all right, of parallel lines. Alternate interior angles of parallel lines are equal. We know this is 68 degrees right here. And so we also know this is 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So 68 minus 90, we know that tiny itty bitty sliver of an angle right there, that's going to be 22 degrees, 22 degrees. This angle, well, we know that this from here to here is also 90. So if we know that we have 58 right there, 58 minus 90, that's going to give us 32 degrees. So this is 32 degrees right there. See how we're putting this in here? All right, which makes sense because this is 32, this is 32, this is 58. All right, and so we have 32, all right, which is also going to equal 32 right there. So if I kind of can draw this triangle out again, like so, ugh, it's horrible. All right, if I 90 degree angle, I'm trying to find this D. I know this is 90. I know this is 50. I know that now this angle is going to equal 22 degrees, because that's what we found right here. Okay, knowing that this is 68 from our directions there. And this is 32, knowing these alternate interior and using what I know right there, which makes sense because these two are equal there. So this is going to be 22 plus 32. 22 plus 32, all right, is equal to 54. So this angle right there is 54 degrees, all right, for 54 degrees. So we're going to put that right there at 54 degrees. And we're looking for this side. Well, what are we going to use for this side? So just like anything, once we have our angle and size of a right triangle, we're going to figure out our trig ratio, all right? We're given an angle, we're going to side. So what is this side to this angle? This is adjacent. We can also know that D is opposite to 54. And so what has adjacent and opposite? Well, that is, all right, or opposite and adjacent, that is tangent. So tangent of 54 degrees <laughs> is going to equal, all right, our opposite, that's TOA, opposite over adjacent. And now we're going to fill in some values there. Well, tangent of 54 equals opposite D over 50, which is our adjacent. And now we're going to solve for D. We're going to multiply both sides by 50. And so we have 50 times the tangent of 54 degrees. And that equals D. So we put this in our calculator now. All right. So 50 times the tangent of 54 degrees. Make sure your motor's in degrees and not radians. And so we have is our D is going to equal the distance, all right, from A to B is going to be 68.819. That's an 8, by the way. All right. And, and that's going to be meters. And that is our answer for this problem. Pretty cool. All right. So, um, you can see all this right here. It looks a lot of gobbledygook. All right, but remember how we use, all right, our compass directions, our compass directions. When it goes north, you start at north and 68 west, all right, 68 west. So north, 68 west, or in this case, um, north, all right, 50 or 32 west. All right, that'll help you find your compass directions. Be mindful of that you use the angles that you're given to find other angles, all right, because we know that each one of these is 90, and so we can find parts of another triangle or angle of, a, of the triangle. Using our parallel lines, we can use alternate interiors, sometimes corresponding, and so on and so forth to figure out these different angles to help us solve the problem. All right. And so um, this was an example of how to do some, some surveying, how to use compass directions, all right, and angles, and then finally um, how to solve all right, a side of a right triangle. All right, once we figure out this angle and we look at our given sides. All right, well, I hope this helps you out. And uh, yeah, good luck and God bless in the rest of your problems.